since the day, finally, we got one of these puppies. Let's see what it's all about. So this is the best BESS certified sharp tester. Um, so let's check it out. Okay. We'll see what all these things are about. I hate getting the styrofoam all over the house. Yeah. Okay. This is the actual device. Okay, cool. Um, anyway. So it says, Congratulations, you just turned the light on your sharpening room. There you go. See what you could not see. Is there more in here? Uh, no. Okay, there's nothing more in here. I thought they normally gave you one of those cards. Uh, I'll definitely get one printed so you can see. They must have just missed it in this box. Oh. So we'll definitely get you one of those cards so you can see like what sharp is sharp. Um, so I have not used one of these before, so I've seen it in videos. Now I've read a lot about this and what I understand is this is a, a tool. This is not the actual, what you would call the standard. Um, everything I've read about this says you can do this too fast, but you can't do it too slow. And we're gonna learn what that means in a second. We're gonna learn together. Okay, so I got two of those, and I got this puppy. Okay. So, that goes in the middle. Okay, so what's in here? Okay, so we got some, so we got some that are pre-done for you. So those are pre-done, so let's do that. Let's put this in here. And this goes in there, kind of make sure that's even, okay? And I don't think you need this. This is uh, kind of like a, a fulcrum, pendulum. I mean, fulcrum is a better word. So that is, whoa! That's, so that's magnetic, obviously. And so you would line that up. That makes sense. Okay. And the red button's for power. We've got power. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on here. Let me adjust the camera. Okay. So, let's turn this towards you. Is there like a light? There's a light. Let's see if that's a little better. <clears throat> You guys cannot see the number, so let's get up to it. There you go. We got some numbers for you. So, <clears throat> I saved this knife. This knife is from the factory. I have no clue what we're going to get. We saw that it was sharp. So, let's, uh, let's get some of these things out here. Sure, I'm gonna do this a couple times. And let's see, factory. Whoa, I almost got myself. That was poor handling. I need to take my own class on nice safety. So what I heard was you can do this too fast, where you can literally four solo number because you like karate chop it a little bit. So let's just do a, a first one and see what we get. So. I, I can do it this way. I heard that I can do it that way, or I can just do it straight down. So we'll do it the first way. So you can't do it too slow. So let me just lay the knife on there. We're getting numbers. So we got 204, which is 
a really good score. I don't have the score sheet here, so I'm going to post it on there. But uh, 200 would be great. I mean, it's really good. So let's replace that. Let's do it the other way. <sighs> we got it set back to zero. All right, so let's go like this and go down. Whoa, that's a much better score, 158. So that's pretty significantly different. Now, I know some people are probably like, oh, I've seen scores in the blah, 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 and they're all super low scores. Well, so first of all, we've already stated that you can alter your score with speed. Second, but I've seen people do it really slow. Um, is that one of the ones I already did? No. Yeah, I already wrote that one, okay. So, <clears throat> you know, a functional knife is a knife that has some thickness behind the spine and it has, you know, a really sharp edge and it needs to be durable for the task. Some people prefer a smooth edge for certain tasks, some people prefer a toothier edge and all of those things are relevant. But I don't think that we should get too like locked up on like how low these scores need to be because you and I both know that we can purposely thin our knife and get it down to an incredible score, but then we've got like a really thin knife. So let's tear it again. Do we do it the do we do it the same way? Do we do it the first one again? Or do we do we like move this? How about we do this? Let's get this thing off of here. How about we just go straight down? So we'll go straight down and see what we get. Okay, so that was a good average. That was 172. Definitely very nice. This is out of the box, people. This isn't like on leather or anything like that. So let's go back to the original way. You see how much money I'm spending for you guys? I'm like cut, cutting all these things. All for the internet. <clears throat> so we'll do one more. Like the first way. <clears throat> so the first way got better. I mean, it got better by like, what, 12 points or whatever which, you know, it's below 200 factory. All right, so let's do one. So let me do, um, let me do one straight up and down again, but slower. That was, I mean, that's as slow as you can get, and that's a 175. So, I mean, I feel pretty good it's in the 170s. Now, with that being said, let's, let's alter it. We got two more of these things out. We got more in the bag, but it's gonna cost me some money to replace them. So, let's, We got a simple Kramer. I'll put it in the uh, links. This is the stropping block. This is the one I always have used. Oh, you know what's nice? Holy moly. 
This has been loaded. I forgot I did this. I loaded this and I let it dry. This has not been touched. I'm not kidding. That's not like a suddenly shocked answer that you're getting. Like, um, let me let me pan back for a second. Like for real, I'm not gonna move that, but for real, I forgot that I loaded this. So this is, I think this is 0.25 micron. So that's, that would be 96,000 grit. So let's, uh, let's do a little work on this. I do not know their sharpening angle. I normally teach you to strop at the angle that you sharpened it. I'm going to assume it's 15 degrees. Now this compound is a compound, I'll put it in my links. I'm going to be testing compound soon. Um, this was oil-based and it took a little longer to dry than normal. That's why I put it on and I let it dry. Um, so part of me is doing extra strokes, not because it's not cutting and, and, and polishing, it's making sure that I got like even the tip. I'm not always sure if, if I got the entire thing. I don't feel that you have to waste your time, but at the same time, if you, I mean, it doesn't take that much longer to do some extra strokes. Now, at first I was like pushing with some pressure, but now I'm like literally kind of floating. So I'm gonna leave that there so you can visually see I don't alter it. <coughs> we need to get the uh, compound off the edge. I don't wanna like cut through the paper and cut my finger. I have done that. Okay, so I don't remember if I turned that off or if it did it itself. Um, <clears throat> so let's get that on there. I wanna make sure it's in good. I don't want it like pushing down more. There we go. All right, let's turn it on. Let's get the light. Or are we ready for some light camera action? Let's see if we got any improvement. Um, we didn't sharpen it, we just put it on leather. So that was dramatic. Um, what is that? I mean, that was 30 points, 32. So, I mean, 30 from 170, it's not, it's like 25%. It's like better than 20%. So let's make sure it wasn't a fluke. <clears throat> So let's do it with the, this thing, this yielded the highest scores. So let's see if we can get the score better on here. So we put it in the fulcrum. We let it rest. <sighs> so. We got near, I mean, we did really good out of the box with just a little bit of attention after it had been shipped from wherever the hell, this was bought in Europe. I mean, this was a, you know, a European shop got this to us. So shipping around box, touching stuff inside plastic, 
you know, boom. So anyway, um, we will be having some fun with this. We will be sharpening knives to see what we can do. Again, I, um, I, I have read a lot on this. Uh, people will basically use this as a tool, not a standard. Um, there are much more expensive machinery that does uh, much more extensive tests to kind of determine sharpness, sharpness. But this has become a tool that people have used to kind of measure themselves or at least progress that they have done. We got some great scores out of the box. Um, I will have fun sharpening some of my knives with technique, different steels, and seeing what's the best that I can do um, with this machine and hand sharpening on my thumbs. So thanks for joining me today. I'm always wishing you never a dull moment. Uh, thanks for finding me in my little corner of the internet. God bless.